another insect killer and this time it's a USB powered one and this time I think it may actually have ultraviolet LEDs. So uh, some things worthy of note before looking at this, let's uh, get the eBay listing to start off with. This came from a UK, well I was going to say a UK seller. It was shipped in the UK. Uh, described as USB LED electric mosquito zapper killer, it's just the usual strings of names. And uh, there were two options when you bought it. You could, uh, well, a few options. You could choose the case colour from white or black. And then the actual base at the bottom that holds the insects, you could choose a couple of different sizes. I chose the bigger one just for extra drama. That's uh, this bit here that sort of bayonet caps off and uh, that's where all the insects apparently end up in. The box it came in is quite amusing in the sense that, aside from calling it a photocatalytic inhalation mosquito killer, which I'm not so sure that's a good description, what's particularly pleasing is if I zoom up a little bit here, they've uh, done literal translations of these. So, whereas it says keep dry uh, and do not stand on, protect from uh, sunlight, uh, this way up and fragile, They've translated to fear of dampness, do not tread, sunscreen upward, and be careful. That's reasonable enough. The instructions are also quite impressive. Uh, in their sort of, their very, very broken English, as they so often are. So it describes it as, Lightning portable mosquito killer. By adopting method of pure physics to catch mosquitoes, mosquito, 5 volt voltage safety design, patent patent of appearance and structure design, easy disassembly, is convenient for cleaning and receive, refined appearance compact technology, feels die in the wood. Indeed. And it goes down to the worm reminder in here, uh, and it says, This producal is non chemical volatile principle, so can't like mosquito repellent incense and other products immediately effective, but can be limited space mosquitoes in the killing clean physical health mosquito palas use patiently. And it's odd, they've actually copied it and they've copied uh, where it's gone from one line to another in the original text. They've put spaces randomly in it, but this is fairly common. We're not really bothered about that. We can work out what it says. They're doing their best and that's absolutely fine. So when I plug this in, I've got a little uh, USB power supply from Boundland here. You'll see a very, very dull glow from these LEDs. They're not bright at all. They don't even look bright to the eye. And they do cast a sort of glow down onto this. And it says this design, it, device is designed to be mounted at least a metre off the ground. I presume that's just because otherwise you wouldn't really see a direct line of sight to these LEDs. They are physically pointing down. They're little surface mount LEDs and the colour of them is a sort of very psychedelic purple when you look at them. They do appear to be ultraviolet. Uh, probably based on the same technology as the sort of uh, nail dryer type LEDs. The fan is also running in this and it's fairly quiet. It's not bad at all. Um, right, well that's about it. There's LEDs to attract the insects. The fan sucks them down. Let's take it to bits. So the most interesting thing here is I want to see these LEDs. Oh, that's a good start. Circuit board. With what looks like, ah, uh, this looks like the USB lead coming in here. And then it's got the... It's got a resistor per LED, which is good. What value are those resistors? 201. Uh, so that will be uh, 20 and 10 is 200 ohms. Um, I guess the voltage across those LEDs will be 3 volts. I'm not going to be able to actually use a meter and plug this in and hold it up at the same time. So I'll, uh, one more. I'm just going to test that and see. But what are these resistors for? Well, they're not connected to anything. We've got the uh, two pads here, the negative coming in from the USB and going down presumably to the fan, and then the positive is just looped off the same pad. I reckon that the uh, the fan was designed to be looped off this connection. It's got a couple of resistors in series with it. 430 multiplier, 430. That'll be 43 ohms, but there's two in parallel, which is roughly, say, just over 20 ohms. So I'm guessing those two resistors are probably to slow the fan down to make it quieter, but they've not used them. Right, one moment. I'm just going to check what sort of currents flowing through these LEDs. 
One quick test later, they are 200 ohm resistors. The LEDs are dropping about 3 volts. There's 1 volt across there, so there's a significant drop in the USB lead they've used. It's quite a thin one. And that means the current flowing through each LED is only 5 milliamps. I thought it might have been a wee bit higher. I thought it mean, might have been close to 20 milliamps. Maybe there's an issue with uh, the lifespan of the ultraviolet LEDs, because they're, I don't know, maybe just a bit more delicate current-wise. They're very psychedelic. It's quite a strange effect. Uh, I'm going to open this up then, so I shall unplug it. Let's, uh, well, there's a, that's how this screws on with a couple of screws in the top here onto the base here. So this bin it caps off, and there are screws under here. Damn, this isn't long enough. One moment. Emergency backup screwdriver set. Let's see if this one does it. One screw. Two screw. This is quite a common technique, the attracting insects with a fan and then sort of sucking them in. You wonder how that does actually affect insects. Are they sort of wise to the air turbulence? Or do they detect when they're being drawn into potentially something they don't want to get drawn into and do they do they veer out insects tend to have a very simple nervous uh, system they don't really have sort of much in the way of intelligence they just react to stimulus so they might actually be prone to just uh doing that so this comes off there's the fan looks like a standard computer fan sat in quite loosely the top also comes off like this Oh, maybe not all the way off. And that's the, basically they've put the USB lead through. They've tied a knot at the back of it through that grommet. That uh, yeah, the little rubber grommet here, and then uh, taken it up to the top. And that is just coming down to the computer fans. So this is a standard computer fan, but five volts, and that's it. There's not really much to it. UG DC brushless five volts. That is it. The little uh, ultraviolet LED circuit board to attract the insects and the fan to suck them down into the base. So um, kind of predictable. That's more or less what I was expecting that. And now, well, this is where I've only seen one fly in this house, a very small one in recent times. So maybe one day I'll put some of these uh, insect traps outdoors at night time and just see what sort of things they suck in, if they suck anything. It's starting to get close to winter here, so I don't know if there'll be that many insects about. But yeah, it's quite a nice design. It's nice to see they are at least using the sort of ultraviolet LEDs, not just blue ones like many of the others did. I wonder how that affects the operation of it and if the intensity of these at just five milliamps each is going to have much of an effect, particularly when it's pointing straight down. So the insects would have to be sort of flying just below the level of this to actually even see the LEDs. I thought they might have pointed out sideways. I don't know if that's uh, partly because they're expecting the reflection here to have an effect, but I wouldn't think this would bounce that sort of wavelength. I think it would just absorb and glow. I'm not really sure. I suppose there's one way to find that out, and that's to try it. But uh, not right now, because there are no flies, as is often the case. So, interesting enough, though.